Good morning to your daily news update from the Frankfurt office of CMC Markets. The dollar yen dropped sharply yesterday. Euro dollar went up sharply yesterday. There was a an interesting speech from William Dudley. He is the Fed president of New York. He actually said this week that zero percent is the natural interest rate. So. If he thinks that is right, and if you assume this is right, then the current um, monetary policy by the Federal Reserve is only mildly accommodative. And he also said that he, uh, uh, given the weak world economy, the Federal Reserve will need to um, be more dovish in the current environment. And that would mean that uh, yeah, it would be a good environment for gold and silver, which is trying to break out of a consolidation overnight this morning to the upside. So there are still buyers in the price of gold, which is a safe haven given the weakness in stocks. So if you um, take a closer look um, and if you dig deeper in the speech that William Dudley has uh, made, he said that, okay, the Federal Reserve needs to be more dovish and um, that uh, needs to be done to prevent the US dollar from appreciating any further. Goldman Sachs has taken an, uh, a look at that speech and their interpretation is that the Federal Reserve might open a new chapter in their monetary policy um, to do some sort of US dollar targeting. That would mean if the dollar is going stronger, is appreciating, then the Fed is or would in such a scheme try to be more dovish to weaken the US dollar again. The world economy right now is, um, uh, is, is weak and everyone is trying to um, have solutions for tackling that weakness. If you look at Japan, they have just um, uh, issued or just passed an economic program which is financed on debt and uh, the Bank of Japan has also promised to do more to um, yeah, stimulate growth in Japan. But the effect that it had is that the yen is going stronger. Um, dollar yen is just close of uh, dropping below 100. It might come if you like um, take the trend line, um, which is clearly down. So the US dollar versus the yen could drop further. If you look at the European uh, monetary policy, then you see that Mario Draghi is clearly um, targeting euro dollar and the euro, it should not go or appreciate too far unless um, there is some growth which is not there yet. So if the euro is going up, um, it would be very negative for the export economy of the eurozone. And so Every central bank, from the Bank of Japan to the um, European Central Bank, they all want weak currencies. But it was only the exception that the Federal Reserve was willing to accept a stronger dollar by now. So the US dollar is in a bull market since the year 2005. It has been appreciating since then. But if you look at the um, profit um, growth or profit development of US companies, six quarters in a row the profits are dwindling and are going down so one reason of that might be the strong us dollar so it might very well be the case that the fed is somehow working on a concept to do some sort of dollar targeting and that would mean that um, the fed would go more dovish and that would open a feedback loop to other central banks like the european central bank or the bank of japan which by itself needs to do more and open the floodgates of money even further. So that is something that needs to be watched, um, a possible um, high in the euro dollar uh, or in the US dollar, a possible low in euro dollar. If you look at the weekly chart in euro dollar at 114.50, so 114.50 um, US dollar per one euro, there is a major resistance. Should euro dollar manage to close above that resistance on a weekly basis, that would be a massive buy signal because for one and a half years, if you look at the weekly chart, euro dollar has tried to break above 114.50, but it didn't manage to close above that on a weekly basis. Um, 
even though it tried nine times in the past one and a half years to do so. So should it do so? Should it close at the end of one week above 114.50? This would be a major buy signal. Would that be possible? So Mario Draghi wants a weaker euro? Well, yes, it is possible. Look at Japan. Japan tries to weaken the yen. Um, it has um, passed an economic stimulus program. It has um, increased its um, monetary uh, stimulus, its fiscal stimulus. They do everything they can, but the yen is getting stronger. So same could happen in Euro, uh, in the Eurozone. So praise for that. Any um, upside on that would be very, very positive for commodities which profit from a weaker dollar. So if Euro dollar goes up, normally commodities go up as well.